Europe preliminary lower round number one, that Appia versus Statics. We also didn't mention, but that Appia was relying a lot on the Pontos as well in that last week. Do you think there's any pre ban coming in for that unit potentially? I am not too sure about that Pontos as being a core pick and a that of an early pick, but it's interesting to see that Laura survives both of the sides of the pre ban so that Appia could lock it in early, but we have a Neftis respect and we have a TL Lang respect over here right now. Yeah, let's see if he does lock in an early Laura then. It is going to be taken straight away. But Static obviously must have known this could have been happening. So he's looking to to answer with the Hay Gang and the Vela Jewel. Yeah, definitely fast lock-ins, which always signals like I knew this was coming and I had this in mind. And that is also something that you can play during SWC. If you lock in your picks very fast, you might mispick, but you also give the opponent less chance to think. So in this case, we do also have a Chandra and a Bella on the side of that Api. So looking at a little bit of AoE, but also single target kill. Exactly. Just to mention as well, say Vela Jewel at the moment was doing very well over the past preliminary weekend with almost a 60% win rate after 19 sets. So it's interesting to see if Static can use him to benefit right now. Taking another high base speed unit there with that Etna and partnering up with a 33% speed lead. How will that Api respond? This is a slight heavy draft on wind. Like sure you have the Vela Jewel damage, but if you bring in fire units right now, like maybe that fire monkey, maybe even looking towards a Douglas or something, it might be very difficult for Startic to deal with those fire units. So we have double fire locked in there. I'm definitely liking those two picks. Startic is probably looking at some kind of bruiser unit with damage on water, but it is very likely to be banned out on that fifth pick right now. Exactly. Let's see what Static, Static does look to lock in there right now. Then in that last pick, like you said, the two fire units coming out in response to the wind units. Vivichel coming out. Very interesting Vivichel over there. I do think it still gets the respect ban because I think that Api doesn't really know what it's exactly supposed to be at what kind of speeds. On the other side, I think one of the damage dealers, either the Fire Monkey or the Bella, will not be playing this match. Let's find out then the guys. This is our set number one. It's going to dictate who's going to have that momentum going into the future sets right now. We do have the Vivichel band out and the Mayhu one. It's going to allow speed leads for both these guys to be taken. We're here, folks. It's our SWC 2024 Europe preliminary lower round one. Set one between that Appia and Static. Which debutant can kick off with that early point straight away? Etna's going to be going in. Maybe a stun or a cycling. Ooh, does go for the cycling, does want to get the crits on the Raccoon, he did manage to do so, did also manage to land an armor break, but goes in for the capture right now, does land it on the Bella, and that's some good amount of damage right there already. Definitely is, Laura coming in, getting some strips, but Heigang on the field is going to allow him to take that turn, going for the strips himself, big stun! Very big stun over here. In this case, if you go back for or if you go for the pushbacks on the Bella, the Raccoon will also just cleanse that off on the stun later. But that additional turn also makes it where you have the chance to do it on the Raccoon. Raccoon can only cleanse, but cannot boost up the Bella over here. And now we've got Velagel coming in, going in for some more immunity, pushing up that attack bar so Etna can be cycling again soon. Defense break landed too. Defense break landing and no additional uh, turn on the side of that Api. So we have a lot of damage coming in for that Atna. Going in with a skill 2 into a skill 1. Killing that Vela. So that was a lot of damage on the side of Startic. And taking out the main damage for the side of that Api. Exactly. And it has immunity on the side of Startic as well. So that skill 2 from Laura is not going to be beneficial in getting any stuns. So he's just deciding to cleanse. Get Rakuni into action a little bit more. There is a little bit more action for the Raccoonie, but there's a lot of damage once again going in, and that's a second unit being taken out. And Atlas is once again showing as a very strong unit here, and that's also what we have seen from the previous matches. Atlas are doing very well here for the European players right now. They definitely are, and right now she can look to land some more def defense breaks. Going for that skill one instead, but it's only a matter of time, I would say, for Chandra to go down. Yeah, absolutely a matter of time. It can definitely be hard locked by a Oliver. Uh, the Raccoonie can maybe do a little bit of work to get uh, some attack bar in, but it's just very difficult against four units on the other side. Plus, they're still healing with that Vela Jewel. There's just too much going on for Star for uh, Startic side that that Api cannot really come back into a match right now. Let's see then. I think he is going to be resulting soon. As Etna does have that skill three, can look to take out the Raccoonie as well. And Chandra versus the world is not going to do it as Static takes that 1-0 lead in our match number one of today. Say, Etna coming in clutch. Her win rate is already high, like you mentioned there. She's such a dangerous unit. 
Yeah, it's always one of those units that you feel like, okay, she is going to be taking that first turn, but how much can she actually do on that first turn? If there's not too many fire counters on the enemy side, like maybe a Vert or even the Hay Gang, to prevent her from going into her cycling fully, she's just very hard to deal with. And you saw that on the Bella. Bella was pretty much down to like 20 or 30% HP by just the cycle of the Athena. In this case, pre bands we do have it on the Laura, so that app you either wants the Laura or not play against the Laura. On the other side, Startic is respecting that Veronica. Yeah, let's see who he decides to choose in on his first pick at the moment. Contested picks before. We've seen Chandra's popping out. We've seen Cigars a lot during the SWC prelims. And we've seen Heigang. But say, he's only on a 38% win rate from last weekend with 15 sets. It's not a lot of data, but it still says something. Yeah, Heigang is often picked a lot, but in a very early pick... I do somewhat understand it if you also want to bring a Nefties on the field, but a very early pick on the Hay Gang does already signal kind of what you're going to do. And then you have a bunch of options to play into it. You could say like, okay, I'm going to full bruiser it. Cigar, great pick into that. Widget, pretty decent pick into that as well. So you just have to expect like, okay, start is picking his Hay Gang. We know what is supposed to be coming next. So Startic probably going back to the Chandra Valagil maybe. Or does he lock in the Neftis right now? Maybe going back to that still the Valagil. Yeah, so he's taking the Neftis. We've got the speed lead locked in for Startic. That Valagil again did a lot of work putting all the immunity on the side of Startic in that last match. That app you're deciding at the moment to go for Juno. There's a strip in there and there can be a lot of skill one damage, which we know you like, say. Absolutely all about that skill one damage. But the big question is right now, are you expecting that Athena? If you do expect the Athena, a fire monkey is not a bad pick. But the dangerous thing about that as well is that there could be double water units on the side of Startic on the four and the five slot. So he actually goes for a more defensive route with also a Faramal. So pretty much the Neftis is hard counted by two units on the field right now. Exactly. Suggesting he's likely going to let it be going through then during this draft phase at the moment. What can Startic look to pick in that four and five? Some damage. Bella stealing it from that app you there. Good for the single target damage. Say maybe another one. Yeah, I definitely would say if you go for a Fire Monkey yourself right now, it might be one of those units. Yes, sir. Right away, that Fire Monkey. There's just a lot of damage on that side for Star Tech right now. And we have to look at what that app he brings. Also single target damage, but this time in the form of a Miles. Very interesting. Yeah, let's see who they're going to be looking to ban out then right now. So you've seen the Juno, you've seen the Vermas on the side. So he's taking out the single target damage on both of the sides. Mehuang and Miles falling here, both of them with the speed leads now then into our Europe preliminary. Match one, set two between that up here and Startic. Can Startic extend his lead to a 2-0? Or has that up here got something to say as Wedjat is going to be able to boost up the team? Yeah, Wedjat boosting up first. Sagar, where are you going to place? Are you going to be placing that on the Valaju? Maybe on the Bella? Goes for the Velochul, does manage to push it back. But let's see how much we have that Hay Gang, but also countered by the Juno right now. Juno, where is your first damage going in? It's actually going to go into the Velochul, so he tries to take out the Velochul first. I'm not sure if that is the right choice, because the main damage is becoming from this Bella. If this Bella can land a lot of pushbacks on this Veramos, it would be very nice. But otherwise, the Veramos is going to be taking a lot of turns. Actually decides to go for the Wajet, which gives Veramos the chance to go for a lot of cycling. Getting rid of all of those debuffs. So let's see, Heal Block is gone right now on the Wajet. That was the main important one. And he was being able to cycle a few times, but still a little bit destroyed HP on that Wedjet. Yeah, we're going to be cycling through soon to Bella again. He seems to be targeting that Wedjet to get it down. And defense break landed could be huge for him with Bella. Bella, five focus shots. That is a lot of damage. About 3k per hit on those first hits. That is a lot of damage. Taking out that Wedjet, but there's still the Ferrum also. If I was that Api, I would be really focusing down that Bella. Bella is just doing so much damage. And that is a crucial AoE stun right there. It is getting all the stuns, but the additional turn will help for the moment, but he's still got cool times for that immunity going up again, say. Can he get rid of that Bella before it takes another turn? He has to try to get rid of it, but I did see that this Juno is missing a little bit of crit rate and therefore was not full critting and therefore is not being full attack bar in this position. If she was full on crit rate, she would have probably moved in front of that Valajo and would have been able to potentially take out that Bella. But Bella gets a little bit more healing right now. Another armor break setup and Bella's just doing a lot of damage on those armor breaks. She is at the moment. He needs to get rid of her as soon as possible. Can now follow it up with the Juno if he so chooses. Oh, here we go into Neftis. No skills yet. 
No skills yet, but that is most likely a crit rate nefty, so it can do a lot of damage on that armor break. Next target to take out is going to be that Veramos, but the moment you hit that Veramos, it is most likely on Nemesis, so you will boost, be boosting the attack bar as well. So you just have to go in with chip damage, just skill one. Don't use the skill two on the nefties right now, because it's going to be cleansed off. Actually, the size against goes for skill two, gets the additional turn, but in this case, if there is an early remove, ooh, it's still be enough damage. It might Let's be see. enough damage. Oh. Yes, it is it enough, damage. enough damage. It was enough damage, so now it's Juno against the Rolt. It is possible for a Juno to win these, but against the room quality that Startic has, it is very difficult, and that Velajul definitely wants to be taking that victory here. Yeah, he's, he's going to have to tag it down, that Velajul, to try and get it as unhealthy as possible. Pushbacks are needed as well from Startic right now. Don't allow a return. Yeah, just do not allow those turns. I would even almost say go for skill 3 over here, goes for skill 2. I think that heals more than it actually deals damage. Could go for skill 2 in that position actually because you have two units moving right after that and you could have maybe killed on that armor break. But it's getting riskier and riskier. There's two debuffs on it once again, so that is a bunch more healing coming in. And every time that you don't really go for the right skills at the right moment, in this case, if you go for skill 2 right now, does go for skill 2. If there's no counter, armor break hit, does enough damage and that's what you're looking for with a Nefty to take out a Juno. Static taking that lead even further than 2-0 to the Apia. The Apia had a response for his Neftis right there, say, but it wasn't quite paying off right. At the moment that Veramos gets stunned, he can't do anything anymore realistically, and Juno just wasn't quite the answer right there. Do you? How's he going to change it now? Well, that's the thing. As a player of Startic, if you use a lot of Nefties, you're very commonly playing into Juno. So you know your way around Juno. So you know when to hit it, you know when to armor break it, you, you know what to do against those kind of things. And that Appy, I definitely did like his draft. It was a very nice try, but it wasn't really working out. There was not enough follow-up and not enough damage. And that was the main thing. Because there was not enough damage, the Bella could take a few too many turns and just being able to take out units. So let's see what we have over here. This time we have the Athna being respected from that first match. Yeah, being banned out along with the Tian Lang right now, meaning that Apu does have the floor to take the Laura in that first pick if he does so choose. Or is he going to be looking for a different response? No, we're going in for that Laura. Do we see again a Heigang and Velajul coming out? Yeah, definitely comfortable picks for uh, Startek. It has been working very well, so don't change your winning team unless you start losing with it. So I definitely do like that Apia is actually changing up his draft. So I do like to see that. Go in for a Vanessa. It's one of those units with a Laura. It doesn't have too much of synergy because... Well, you don't really need that much of single target strips, but single target strips do help a lot for that Bella. So let's see how that works out. Definitely does, and it partnering up with a 33% speed lead. We know the base speed of that Laura is very high, say. Static right now, in this response last time, he did pick that Etna, but it's not going to be available right now. Will he look to still go with an Oliver and something else? Well, in this case, he's looking at the... Oh, he's going for the Federica. Federica is a very interesting unit in this position because normally a Federica works very well into a Laura. If there is no other unit like a Vanessa on the field, which can counter it, and therefore you can't revive. But then you also have that Veronica in the back pocket, which is just very strong. You do not really want to play a Federica into reset units. So very curious to see how that will work out. But this is looking a very uh, heavy focus draft on that RP to take that first turn. So let's see if he continues with that. Definitely does take him wedge at another speed lead, taking the first turn in that last match as well. Say, so Static right now. How, how is he going to answer that? Do you need more damage or is it... He needs something, right? Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. You could maybe go for like a Fire Monkey kind of style, but there's a lot of Bruiser kind of semi-Bruiser AUECC on the side of that Api that this draft is very difficult to lock in because of that Federica early lock on the slot 4. We do go for a Juno. It is a good unit, but I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough against all of the damage that that Api brings over here. Yeah, he's definitely going to be bringing in a lot of damage at the moment right there. So if he can get some of those skills off, not with the Veronica in this case, and Velajul has been respected now, we know the win rate is high. Speed leads for both of these guys. It's our Europe preliminary low round one, match one, potentially the deciding set for Startic, who is 2 0 up against that Appia. Can the Appia respond? Wedge Jack going first, allowing Laura to get her skill three soon. Yeah, going for the skill three, but we will have a Federica moving on this other side. Is she going to be able to kill something right now? Does get the anti crit, and that is also one of these hard counters. A widget does make it where you can't really play your Federica like you would like to. Yeah, resisted there against the Juno right now, but tumbling the damage in with Bella, she's not going to be on for long. 
Yeah, she's not gonna be on for long, but that was interesting to see. Also, the Bella managed to get multiple resistance in. Is this this random high resistance kind of style of Juno that we see over here? Let's find out, but he's getting the stuns right now at the moment and some good amount of damage. Hey gang, can you get one for yourself? Does manage to try to push back, but we have a little bit of stuns going on this side. No, we do not have any stuns provided by all of that glancing that we see on the field. No, and she's gonna be cycling soon, that Federica. Can you look to kill already? Not quite yet, but she'll be going soon with a revive. Yeah, the revive is coming in soon. We do have a little bit of attack bar push up over here and a slight bit of healing coming in, but it's really not that much healing. If you kill the Bella right now, she will come back with attack buff and that might be very dangerous. Does decide to still go for it though, so let's see how that will work out. We do have that Hey Gang moving next though. Does he stun? No stun or push back. It's going to allow Bella to go in with the skills, killing off that Juno. Oh, squishy Hey Gang. Yeah, we have that Hey Gang actually nearly leaving the battlefield. And since there's no healing fully on, plus an increased call time on that Federica right now, that increased call time does make it where she doesn't have that skill 3 even longer. Plus skill 3 of that uh, Laura is going in right now. So just a lot of AoE damage. Probably is managing to strip. Is not managing to strip, but does take out that uh, that's Hey Gang. Yeah, and he's now got the anti-crits up anyway, even if she did have that skill, but it was cool time and the stun as well. Chandra can throw a little defend for a little bit longer, but he's not going to be too healthy by the end of this. Not too healthy, but he does provide those slows, and those slows can make it where Federica can maybe take another turn. It is difficult to get it in, and that increased cool time is exactly what we see right now working. Otherwise, she could have potentially taken out another unit, because there's not too much anti-crit in this case. But let's see if she can take another turn. Ooh. Big stun, though, on that Laura, and not going to allow her to cycle. Pushing back the Chandra. She gets the additional turn, though. Gets the additional turn. Does it go for some more cycling? Does not go for more cycling, but we have the Wajet with some extra turns. And we're just slowly chipping away more and more damage. Another increased skill time coming in. Skill 3, can you strip this time? Does manage to strip and does manage to kill with gifts. That Apia, a 1-2 to two on the board. He's got a point back on the board there. So it was crucial for him. If he lost that set, he would have been saying goodbye to the SWC 2024. But he managed to regain that. He took that first turn. Clever with the wedge as well. Getting that anti-crit up. Not allowing the Federica. Snipe comp didn't really pay off in that last match for Static. Yeah, it's mainly the Federica was, I would think, slightly off place because there were already two units pretty much hard countering it. You had the Wajet with the anti-crit, you had the uh, Vanessa with the revive. So those two units, you don't really want a Federica that. Plus, you do know that your enemy does like to use that Veronica, which is banned out right now. Because of that unit, it is just simply a lot harder to do. We have also a Vela Jewel once again being banned. Exactly. I think that up here is working out that it might be a core composition of Startic's team in those first two sets that Velodrome managing to get the turns. This time Startic gets to steal that Laura for his side. But then do we see a steal on the other side with that Hey Gang? We do see a Pantus. I'm not too sure if a Pantus that early makes sense, but I definitely do like that Hey Gang. And the Hey Gang Pantus combination is actually pretty strong because a lot of Hey Gang drafts these days, they are just good for the first turn while you have immunity. But after that, Hey Gang is not doing as much because there's no buffs on your side. Whereas with a unit like Pantus, you keep providing those buffs and Hey Gang before that reason or for that reason becomes a lot more dominant throughout the whole match. So let's see how Startek replies to that because he can't really go to the Athna right now because it's almost already counted by that hey gang he's going there for a neftis and stealing over the bella so he's got that single target damage coming out with the bella and obviously we know how much work neftis can do that app response last time was veramos and a juno this time only the juno but partnering with a smicer Interesting pick here on the Smicer. So we're very much support heavy on the side of that Api, trying to survive all of the damage that Startek will bring out. But in this case, if you bring another uh, speed unit, another speed lead, and then maybe a Sonya, you can easily take out one unit. And Startek is thinking exactly the same as what I'm doing, except for that speed lead though, but two fast units over there. And I'm definitely liking those two units there. Exactly. We saw in the last weekend, say, Sonya was banned the most after well, after being picked during the draft phase because of how much threat she causes with sniping out one of the units straight away right now. That Apia is going to have to keep going with his surviving that first turn, maybe? Yeah, either that or maybe going something for an Athna yourself. Those could be the two options that I could see pretty strong for that Apia. Actually, goes back to the Wajet. So he does have speed lead and he does have a swift unit on that Wajet. Is he going to be taking out the swift on the side of... Startic by removing that Nefties. Let's see, because he's got it all to play for. Remember, if he loses this set, he won't be with us any longer in SWC 2024. The Wedge has been taken out. And again, Asonya is not going through to the match. We've got speed leads for both of our guys. 
it is match one set four between that Appier and Static. It's potentially a deciding set. Let's see if Static can claim it or that Appier has something to say with Laura going first. She might strip and allow Heigang to take a turn. Well, in this case, you don't want to strip. That was also a curious thing. Was that Robo actually going to be faster than that Laura? But in this case, it was not. But it went for the perfect strips. <laughs> Does it also go for the perfect stuns? Does not get the perfect stunts that we would like to see from a Robo. So in this case, Bella has to do a lot of work at pushing back and potentially killing something. Oh, not quite yet. But I'm holding my heart for this Pontus. <gasps> we get the additional turn and Pontus gets what I call the Pontus luck. He takes the additional turn and the match is wide open once again. Yeah, it's completely changed right now. Smizer can look to land a bomb and stun with that Bella right now. Juno's going to be cleaning up as well. Stuns the whole side. So where it looked, they've already one side of match on one side, suddenly completely flipped to a one side of match on the other side. Four units being stunned, now four units are being silenced. It will take quite a while for Starting to get back some proper damage. We do have that invisibility removed from the uh, Smicer right now, so that's probably where he's going to be tumbling in the damage to at least remove that healing. Exactly, that's the only one that's low enough that he can maybe get a go. Pontos again speaking, saying, I'm here to stay, say, but uh, so does Bella. So does Bella, and this damage should definitely be enough. Taking it out, also hitting on the Pontus, which is probably the next target that he wants to hit anyways. So that's very crucial. But then again, the damage is mainly on the Bella, which is stunned once again. Yep, she's stunned out. Can Lori get asleep? And she gets the additional turn, say. Oh, you have to go for the damage right now. Even though that Juno will use that skill too on you. You just want to add as much damage as possible, taking out a lot of damage. Can you take out the Pontus right now? Does not manage to take out the Pontus. And Pontus will go for another cycle of skill 3. Yeah, he's got that skill three. He's going to give attack bar because of the cleanse as well right now. Say, so can that app you survive long enough and take out those units before they get online? It is so difficult right now because the unit you want to focus the most is going to be two turns away from being hit. Unless you still have that Juno chipping in little bit by little bit damage. And where we see a Neftis win against a Juno before, that was because she had a lot of units paired to it. So this time it might be a little bit more difficult. It might be Hey Gang against Neftis with Juno right now. Does he have to go for it? No, I would not use it in this case. I would still go for a skill one because a skill two into a potential violent proc skill one would have not killed the Juno in that case. You want to save for the moment where you do know that you would. You might maybe gamble it over here, but he still doesn't want to take the gamble. Let's see over here. I can see Nefty still win this. Skill one is a decent amount of damage. If he would have skill two in hindsight, oh, does he kill? He does manage to kill. That is so much damage on fire. And that's why your Nefty is supposed to be damage on fire, taking out those units with the win for starting.